Hey, hey everyone, Mike's here. Um, so today, I got lucky. I found an, uh, uh, an aviation piece. It's a, uh, made by Spectral Dynamics Corporation. I'll show you this here. It's an electronic event calculator counter. I'm not really sure exactly what it's used for. But, uh, you know, just wanted to show you nice pins. That's where all these boards came from. Don't worry, we're going to go through those here in a minute. Just wanted to give you a real nice look here. Okay. One thing I wanted to say, whenever you guys run in to these pins out of these uh, green connectors or out of these blue connectors, those are really nice and they're worth every bit of time it takes to pull them. So, uh, here we'll start with this guy. He was in the uh, front right here right here and I wanted to show him for the main reason I want to show you guys these these are dog bones there 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 that's even a little one right there okay that's the biggest one I've ever seen um, couple hiding underneath there and um, those are silver silver mica capacitors <clears throat> now you see these silver guys here that have the uh, look like little silver top hats as Geo would say as you can see some are gold some are silver. Now, I don't know if it's actually silver, silver, but uh, I know the ones are gold legs. Alright. You can see we got these uh, gold pens sticking out of the board all over the place. It's uh, wire wrappers, I think. Um, now, these guys right here. If by chance any of you know um, what may be in those, go ahead and comment down below, please. And now these here, I am not sure. They look like they could be tantalum. See the little plus sign? I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. See the little plus sign and that that little line there, it looks like a 7. A lot of times those are used to identify the positive side. And a lot of times they use the positive side for uh, tantalums. And uh, original feats says that a good sign for that is the crooked legs. I don't know how correct that is, but uh, yeah. now one thing I wanted to mention the other side of this board alright, now I'm not sure that could be silver or it may just be straight solder telling really at this point I haven't dug in enough to find out we all know what that is pretty ain't it all right so let's see what else we can look at here all right anytime you see metal cans it's a good idea to pull them off you know unless you're taking the whole board in now remember guys, if you're taking boards in to be bought, 
you take anything off of that board, you're devaluing it. You know, so you take a board that could be worth $3 a pound, and the second you take something off of it, it's now $0.05 cents a pound. So just keep that in mind, um, especially, you know, this probably just goes a mid-grade board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the MLCCs off of this guy. You know, and then I'll take all the uh, little IC chips off. And then, uh, yeah, I already ripped the, uh, the silver, uh, uh, silver switches on it. You don't get much from them. Uh, basically, that's what's left. That's in the back of a silver switch. But, you know, you know let me show you this guy here. Alright, so you got gold fingers on the bottom. And you got the, uh, there's your north-south bridge chip. You know, you got really nice pins in this thing. And then I'm betting, well, yeah, right here in the corner. You got some really nice ice or MLCCs, okay? Now, if I start popping, there's some tantalums too. If I start popping things off of this board, it becomes devalued, okay? So, you guys got to understand that. If you're going to sell your boards, sell your boards. If you're going to clean them, take things off of them, clean them and take things off of them you can't do both you know there, there's people out there you can say you can pop a couple here and a couple there well you know I'm not claiming to be the smartest guy in the world but I will tell you this that uh, what comes around goes around you know and if some if you start taking from somebody else there's a good chance that somebody's gonna start taking from you Alright, um, let's see, what else can I tell you about? Let me tell you about date codes. Date codes. Okay, on this IC chip, you can see where it says 8122. What that means is that that chip was made in the 22nd month of 1981 and um, let's see there's a different one here now the date code on this guy I can't get it there it is is 8140 so that one was made the 40th month of 1981 and there's another uh, dog bone right there. <clears throat> so silver can here. Um, these orange guys, I don't know what they are. Um, yellow, that's normally tantalums. But we'll have to see. I'm not sure what we got there or not. See all these gold pins here? wire wrap pens so what we got here yeah this is one of them top hats that I showed you earlier uh, one of these guys and it actually has its own heat sink on it ain't that pretty neat oh there's one right there <laughs> without a heat sink that's the same thing there so, um, get this board out real quick. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, maybe you guys know, you know, these little red guys here, you know, is, is that what the MLCCs used to be? I really don't know. Um, just basically trying to get some more information while I was showing off what I had here. Uh, here's your dog bones, silver mica capacitors there. Let's see. 
And those are um, basically the same. Look at that. All them uh, uh, the resistors lined up. I don't know what's in them or not. Some more of them like that. So just a quick look at this board. What do you got? You got a dog bone. You got tantalum. Possibly tantalum. You got your silver canisters here you want to save. You have your gold pens, your IC chips. Look at that guy. Now I've heard that those are definitely tantalum. Got a, you even got a plus sign on the board next to it. Alright, there's some more of them yellow packs. Now, I've heard they have PMs, but I don't know. So maybe one of you guys can know. And then we got different color ones here. We got green, yellow, <clears throat> these blue things. If you know anything about those, I'd like to know. Um. So anyway guys, this video has turned out being a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, let me show you this guy real quick though. Pulled this out of a 1970s something uh, oscilloscope. And what I wanted to show you is it's the exact... Well, I guess I should flip it over, huh? It's the exact same board, <clears throat> but here you have gold, and here you had, <clears throat> you can see copper plating underneath, but there is a silver metal on top. We were talking, uh, there was talk on the forum yesterday, you know, you've got the shiny silver, You've got doll silver. So I kind of wonder if that may be PT or PD. Um, I really don't know. You know, but it's like that on both sides. You know, you've got your gold and your shiny silver. And you got doll. Doll silver. Doll gray. So guys, that's it for this video. Sorry, I kept you hanging out too long. I just wanted to show you what I was into on this weekend. Uh, <clears throat> just uh, pulling apart a bunch of equipment. Most of that there came from servers. I got uh, cell phone stuff in there. Now I've got, uh, oh, well, that's another switch, another server. Uh, let's see. Motherboard, server motherboard. Oh, I may have showed you this one. I've got to take this and uh, I don't know if I'm going to pull this apart or if I'm just because uh, I'm getting ready to become a buyer, guys. But uh, I don't know when that's going to happen. So. I just wanted to give you guys a look at what I'm into here. You ever see an MLCC that size? I haven't. So, you guys have a great, wonderful weekend. I'm going to get off here and enjoy it. I'll talk to you guys later. Mike's out. Bye.